The number one most common eye surgery in the U.S. today is obviously it's cataract surgery, correct? That's right. In fact, it's not only the number one surgery in eyes, it's actually one of the number one surgeries of all surgeries in medicine. So what's being done right now in the next two to five years to improve cataract surgery procedures also lower the costs. Well, it's interesting because cataract surgery right now is being performed manually. So you actually are doing- With a little needle. With a little needle, and I mean, it's all freehand, but the future uh, will be, be doing it by laser. And that's actually- Like they be, do with LASIK. Just like LASIK. In fact, one of the lasers that's now being used in LASIK is known as a femtosecond laser. Femto means 10 to the minus 15. Very, very short pulses. You can make extremely uh, fine cuts. I mean, more accurate than anybody in their wildest dreams could have believed in the, in the past. And so now you can make very precise cuts, not only in the cornea, which we're now doing in LASIK, but where you can also make very, very good cuts in the lens itself, and you can actually chop up the lens. Something that in the past it's all been done manually, you can do sort of pre-chops and make the entire thing mushy, so to speak, and then just suck it out with the tube. I love the technical term there. But the scientific <laughs> exactly. mushy. Three, three companies, three major companies are working on this right now, and they're competing to get to market, correct? That's right. The biggest company in the entire world, uh, ophthalmology company, is Alcon. And Alcon has just um, basically b uh, purchased a femtosecond laser cataract system called uh, LensX. Um, and there's another company called Lensar, and then there's a company called Optometica. Um, there are two European companies, Femtolas and uh, Visumax, um, which are also working on femtosecond lasers in Europe. So you, there are at least five companies um, and maybe more uh, that will be getting really? into this. So everyone's really jumping on the bandwagon There's and it hasn't quite been proven it's, yeah. That's right. I mean, the, the technology has been, there's been early clinical trials and they have FDA approval to do cataract surgery. And I think recently they uh, just got one approval to actually take out the lens as a, and in addition to making incisions in the cornea. Um, but, you know, the, it hasn't been tested uh, in the masses yet. So we'll have to see how it works out, um, you know, in terms of the, the overall um, efficacy and safety. So over the next two to five years, we're going to see a lot more testing done on this. And maybe in five years, we're probably going to see uh, it available to the early adopters in masses. Right. Correct. I mean, it's good. For cataract surgery. Absolutely. The price of the instrument's extremely high, and there's a lot of questions about how this is going to be paid for. With right. Medicare. Insurance companies, what and are they going to do? Absolutely. Medicare making cuts and, and, and um, reimbursements are going down. So there's going to be, uh, uh, there's going to have to be some creative um, mathematics to figure out how this can be applied. There's no doubt that this is going to be a terrific technology. There's no doubt in my mind that this is something that will, that will very, be, you know, be very beneficial for surgeons and for patients.